Welcome to tutorial number five where we're going to be working on a small box character that gets chased and detected by enemies. First, let's get started on character input and moving this box. As you can see in this scene, we have a plane and a cube. The first thing we have to do is add a component, which is the behavior tree. Under behavior tree, let's create new and bound. No decorators or composites here, just one single action task. Create that action node and then click assign action task. Go down to input and let's select get input access. As always, we have three access, X, Y, and Z. For our typical character, X axis is our side to side or lateral movements and Z axis is our forward and back movement. What's important are the names of these axes. These are the default names for your up, down, left, right, WASD, or custom inputs that you put in yourself. But that's a whole different subject if you wanted to get into that. This get input axis is just gonna get a value from zero to one from your keyboard. Now we need to save those values down at the bottom. So where it says save X as and save Z as, go ahead and create a new variable. It'll name them appropriately. You can change them if you want though. Now there was no reason why we didn't use dynamic. Certainly use them if you want to, but you can see the ones we created are in the upper right hand corners. But if we were just using these variables for this single task, we wouldn't create new. We would use dynamic so we're not blowing up the blackboard with extra variables we'll never touch. Back in the upper left, assign action task, go down to movement and click input move. If we scroll down, we can see the strafe, the side to side movement, and the forward, the front to back movement. Now in strafe, let's think about it, we need that save X as. And then down in the forward, we're gonna obviously use save Z as. And that's it for this tutorial. Go ahead and click play, make sure it's working. If you want your guy to move a little bit quicker, go back to get input access and throw a bigger number in that multiplier. Now you can see in the upper right hand corner, the values are the negative one is one that have been multiplied by the four I put in there. And that is all for tutorial number five.